Hello my friend, the game without music is just horrible. You are not gonna have a good game without a background like this, for example. Because we have a medieval game like this, I think this is gonna just be perfect for it, okay? So, in order to attach a music, like for example this from the free source, as you can see, it is royalty free music tracks. You can just click here to download it, okay? And then you create, for example, a new folder in the in this assets folder musics and you need to just put it here right so i am gonna move it from my folder wait a second as you can see it's now here and you can now double click it as you can see now you can play it from here right but this is just manually playing how do we play it in our game you can create a note that is called audio stream play there or you can just move this music here up, okay, uh, to the game node, like this. And now, as you can see, it added it as an audio string player. We can call it now, for example, medieval background music. And uh, if I want to autoplay it, I hit on on here. As you can see now, it's playing, but it's definitely too loud. How do we decrease the loudness? As you can see here, we can decrease it. And after playing it, as you can see, okay, this is good, but there is a problem. Notice that each time when I die, what happens? The music is starting from the start. And also notice that when the game is paused, our music also paused. How do we change both of these things? Firstly, if you want to pause the game and still process the music you need to hit here process and notice that here is a mode that by default is set to inherit which means that it's gonna inherit the mode from the node parent the parent is in our uh, case uh, the game so it uh, it is gonna also inherit what is root and so on but uh, in our case uh, it means uh, that default option most time is that it's pausable, okay? So we need to change it to always in order to make it like always running even if the game is stopped. So now when I play it and I die, notice that it's still playing, but there's another problem as you can see, what? The music is starting from start and this is not a good thing. In order to change it, we need to make this music as another scene. Right click, then we are gonna make it as a scene, save it in the scenes, save. And now we can delete it, but if we delete it, notice, the problem is that it's not gonna be run, right? Because it is not in our game. So we need to go into project, project settings, into the um, globals. Now we need to find our scene, which is this one, add, and now we can close. And notice that when we open our scene, here we have autoplay. And because this scene is auto loaded in our project, when the project, um, use, when, when, when our game is loaded, then as you can see, the music is spreading properly. But the cool thing is that when we die, the game is still running, right? I mean, the <laughs> music is still running. And uh, we can change, for example, the sound here to lower. But this is very, very, very important. This is not the way that you should decrease um, the decibels the volume of your sound why because every player might want to have it differently and that's why you should have inside of your game something what is called audio mixer which allows you to add something what is called buses bus is like a channel for the kind of sounds you want to change properties of individually so it means that you can put here for example sound effects musics for example dialogues right and this allows to change each of that uh, type channel bus 
individually, right? So now when I choose medieval background music, I can change it to the music, right? When I go to the sword hit sound, which is our in our enemy as far as uh, it's in our player, like this, I can change it to sound effects. And because of that, now I can do something like, hey, I want music to be lower, only music, right? And because of that, we lowered our music. This is the default, for example, setting, right? For example, minus five, maybe you want it to be zero, right? But I can change it now from this place, but this bus can be, you know, accessed by uh, your game uh, later and you can from in within the code create an interface that allows you to change all, all these parts individually, right? So this is very important, remember, why? Because, for example, I have ADHD and when the music is very high and I can't change it, okay? to be or, or, or muted if I don't like it, I won't play this game because I can't focus, okay, when the music is loud. That's just how, how, how am I? One of the most important thing for your game is to be able to customize the level of your sound for each of that thing manually. Master means that you can decrease all at once, right? This will decrease sound effects, music and dialogues by this value here. So when I open it, as you can see, our music got also a bit um, more silent, right? But uh, if you want to move it individually, you can just use these parts now, right? So most time people like me, for example, want to have dialogues higher and music lower. That way I can, you know, easily spot dialogues uh, in the music and I still have fun while playing. For example, it's me, right? Everybody is different and that's why customization like that is super, super important. Notice that this is not the only site where you can find free music. Another one is, for example, open game art, where if you type background and then you choose music and CC0, also you're gonna find cool music that you can download later. There is also music on itch.io, which you can also download if you set the CC0 and also the freepd.com where you have the music uh, categorized by type, right? Because sometimes you want to have some upbeat, the positive, something dramatic, horror, you can play, download. This is super cool that uh, where you can, without knowing anything about sounds, do some things like that. There are also AI tools that allows you to generate music, but most of them are paid ones, so I didn't show them here.